Hello, my name's Howard Revel. I work for BQP <coughs> and we run a pig operation predominantly in East Anglia based around outdoor sales and straw-based finishing in the supply chain with Waitrose. About four years ago, we realised from working with our customer and from what was coming out in the media that there could be an increased focus on antimicrobial resistance in farm livestock. So the, the starting point of the strategy was really looking and seeing where we were using the antibiotics and we saw that while it's quite easy to reduce antibiotic use, what we actually needed to do was reduce the need for antibiotic use. So it had to be a complete holistic approach. Hi, I'm Martin Smith. I'm the lead vet for BQP. Uh, the strategy really has to uh, work around uh, the quality of the, the livestock that you've got and um, good biosecurity. So when we're placing the piglets onto the, the grower farms, we're looking to ensure that they are coming in from a single source wherever possible and that we use a batch-based system so that we don't have continuous flow, so we don't get buildup of disease on sites. Um, on those farms we're also utilising technology uh, such as the select doses. The select doses are a, a type of uh, pump, uh, like a dialysis pump, uh, which allows very precise dosing of antibiotics within the water. We've moved away from using um, in-feed antibiotics towards water because it's a much more precise way of giving antibiotics on farm. So our antibiotic use over the past three years has dropped by over 75%. And our CIA use is less than 0.2% of our overall use. I think the BQP example um, in addressing the challenge of EMR resistance is something that you know is really commendable. It's something we're encouraging the rest of our livestock supply chains to now go away and look at the way their schemes are operating, how, the, how they're running their livestock um, systems uh, and hopefully you know, in time that will result in lower usage right across the board.